In this video, let's learn how to create an interactive video course using your own PowerPoints, interactive video overlays, and knowledge checks in Adobe Captivate 2019. You will need to follow four simple steps to create the PowerPoint to video to interactive video course. Step one is to create a video by capturing a presentation of the PowerPoint. During step two, you will create a Captivate project and import the video you created during step one. Then you will add knowledge check questions. And finally, you will make the knowledge check questions pop up as overlays while the video plays. Let's begin with the first step. Open your PowerPoint in presentation mode. Open Adobe Captivate and select Record New Video Capture. A video capture dialog will appear. You can set the dialog to capture just the screen, as well as a local microphone. Wait for the three-second countdown, then begin recording your voiceover as you narrate the PowerPoint deck. When you finish narrating, you may press the End key on Windows. A preview of your video will open. You can simply press the Publish button to convert the recording into a video. If you prefer, you may also use the Edit key to make cuts, additions, or corrections to the video before publishing. In the second step, you will create a new blank Captivate project. Select File, New, Blank Project. Then simply import your new video into the Captivate course as an interactive video. Select Interactive Video from the toolbar. Then select From Your Computer and then identify the file using the Browse button. Finally, press the OK button. During Step 3, you will add Knowledge Check questions. To begin, select Insert Slide Knowledge Check from the main toolbar. In the dialog box that appears, select the type and number of Knowledge Check slides that you wish to add. In this example, we select three multiple-choice questions. Press OK to confirm your selection. Finally, edit each knowledge check question by altering the question stem and response text. Step 4 requires you to associate your knowledge check questions with the interactive video slide. First, select the interactive video slide. Move the playback head, the red box on the timeline, to the time location that you want your overlay knowledge check question to appear. This is usually just after you've provided learners the answer to that question. Now press the little orange plus button inside the diamond on the second to top row of the timeline. Use the Overlay Slides dialog to choose one or more of the knowledge check questions. Next, press the little orange plus button inside the square on the very top row of the timeline. But first, move a few seconds back in the timeline. Specifically, move back to the time before you told the learner the answer to the question. When you press this button, a little dialog will appear, asking you to name the bookmark. This is your first remediation point, so you might call it Remediate 1, for example. Name it now. You will see the thumbnail for the knowledge check question that you selected appear in the thumbnails below the thumbnail for the interactive video slide. Select the Knowledge Check slide in the Thumbnails view. Then select Quiz Properties from the Properties Inspector. Now deselect Infinite Attempts under the Quiz Actions. Then change the Last Attempt action to Jump to Bookmark and the subselection to Remediate 1. Repeat this final process as needed for all of the Knowledge Check slides and remediation bookmarks.